Top 10 Things to Do in Detroit, Michigan With the help of one Henry Ford, Detroit rode the wave of car manufacturing into the stratosphere. During that time, it created impeccable buildings and developed a local culture that put it on the same level as other renowned American cities. With enough time passing, its exceptional museums have become more poignant and there are now many interesting things to do in Detroit. Along with its gorgeous waterfront, it's leading the way for a new era of tourism in the Motor City. 10. Comerica Park. Along with Detroit's riverfront, Comerica Park is a summer institution. From late March to October, the beloved Detroit Tigers play their home baseball games right here. With the sun shining overhead, baseball, and hot dog, fans converge on the beautiful stadium to take in the American pastime. On your way to the stadium, you'll likely pass the team's Walk of Fame, a celebration of famous Tigers throughout the team's history. 9. Fox Theater. The crown jewel of arts and culture in Detroit is the elegant Fox Theater. It has an audience capacity of 5,000, making it the largest theater that remains from the Roaring Twenties. Now a national historic landmark, the theater has hosted a range of iconic musicians and performers from Elvis Presley and Bruce Springsteen to Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld. Today, you'll find a packed calendar of touring artists, comedians, and large-scale productions. 8. Ford Field. If your team is coming to town, or you simply want a dose of live sport, then head along to an NFL game at Ford Field. The home of the Detroit Lions was built in 2002 and has a max capacity of 65,000. With its fantastic layout, the stadium boasts it offers fans the best views of any U.S. football stadium. 7. Eastern Market. The market is historic, having run since 1841, making it one of the oldest in the United States. Browse the endless aisles perusing the wares of over 200 sellers. Find everything from fresh produce and clothes to jewelry and art. To indulge in some Detroit culture, join the massive crowds that descend upon the beloved market every Saturday. 6. Detroit Riverfront. When the sun is out in Detroit, the riverfront is a flurry of activity. The section of the city was put at the forefront of Detroit's revitalization and now includes a range of amenities to enjoy. The riverfront runs for 5.5 miles, connecting the Ambassador Bridge with Gabriel Richard Park. In between there are several green spaces to kick back, read a book, people watch or enjoy spontaneous live music. 5. Belle Isle Park. An island in the middle of the Detroit River, Belle Isle Park, is a beautiful release from downtown Motor City. For many, simply exploring the gorgeous landscapes enveloped by the river is enough. You can hire bikes and small watercraft to explore, swim in one of the three lakes on the island, or simply walk along the miles of hiking trails to every corner of Belle Isle. 4. Ford Piquette Avenue Plant. Now a national history landmark, the Ford Piquette Avenue plant is your one-way ticket to Detroit's brass era. The plant began operations in 1904 and is the only one of its kind that is open to locals and travelers to visit. The Ford Piquette Avenue plant has a heady place in Ford history. It was the first plant purchased by the renowned car brand and was designed specifically to create Ford vehicles. Four years later, Henry Ford introduced the Model T, which was built right here. 3. Guardian Building. Built in 1928 and complete the following year, the Guardian Building was seen as an astonishingly bold example of Art Deco architecture. The 40-story building has lost none of its opulent grandeur as it heads towards its 100th birthday. From the outside, you can admire its light orange bricks that contrast to a city of chromatic skyscrapers. Walk through the memorable facade to see the building's real highlight, the lobby. Like a scene out of a 16th-century church, the lobby has soaring ceilings with intricate mosaics and frescoes that run from side to side. 2. Motown Museum. In January 1959, Barry Gordy Jr. founded Motown Records. It was a nod to Detroit being the Motor City and the record company would go on a historic run, elevating black musicians, from the Temptations to the Supremes. The Motown Records' main office is appropriately called Hitsville, USA. Today, you can explore the role of the studio, its contribution to the wider Motown movement and its place in American culture. 1. Detroit Institute of Arts. Set within a conglomerate of over 100 galleries, the Detroit Institute of Arts is an eye-opening collection of prominent works. The Institute has over 65,000 pieces of art on display that combine to explore ancient culture as much as the modern day. The thorough repository represents many regions around the globe, including the African continent, Oceania, and works from early cultures in both Europe and the Middle East. 
It helps take visitors on a journey back in time to see the role art played in ancient societies and the many differences between humanity all over the world.